Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. <coughs> Excuse me, Capricorn, this is your monthly reading for August 2021. So this is like basically the first half of August. So this is August 1st to like the 15th, 16th. So the first half of August. So I'm doing this, my monthly is a little bit different. I'm going to try to make this reading not so long. Um, Maybe 20 minutes for each sign. I'm trying to cut down my reading, so I'm going to pull you guys. I got a new deck, and this is, um, it's a, your heart knows the way. I think I'm going to get along with this deck very well. I think I like this deck. It's a, your heart knows the way. So I'm going to pull you guys a message for um the month of August for you, and I'm going to pull you guys an angel number. And then I, I'm going to pull four tarot cards. I'm going to do just four. And um, I'm going to get into the T and probably the issues day. So let me go ahead and get started. What is Capricorn's angel number for the first half of August 2021? The first half of August. What is Capricorn's angel number for the first half of August? Okay, number 16. It say, I am perceptive. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask a wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I am perceptive. So number 16 is um Capricorn that's your angel number. So what is Capricorn's message? For August 2021, the first half of August. What is Capricorn's message? Okay, and it say your lover isn't lost. Your lover isn't lost. Okay, so let me read it. What a book. Okay, that's number 49. Your lover isn't lost. Okay. When love is unconditional, your heart blossoms. When you lose your lover, your capacity for love expands. Are you grieving the loss of a lover? Have you barricaded your heart in the aftermath of loss? You fell in love, perhaps for the first time in a long time. While in love, you feel worthy and you felt whole. And then when your lover left, you felt broken and cast aside. Your worthiness dissipated and your connection with love was lost. All the while, you justified the conditions you placed on love. With your expectations and your do's and don'ts, you closed your heart and turned your back on love. This card reminds you that the source of love was never your lover, for it is you. A lover can do nothing more than reflect back to you what already flows through your own heart. Today, keep your heart open despite your pain and feel for the love that's already within you. Write a list of all the things you love about yourself and fall in love with you. In doing so, activate your powerful heart. Access the relief of love that flows through you. This is how you realize that your lover is never lost when you allow love to be present in you. So, I'm going to put that, this, what I'm picking up from this energy, and what I'm going to say is that your lover doesn't necessarily have to be of romance. This could be family. This could be a friend that you have lost, a family member, a loved one, or a friend, a best friend. Yeah, a lover. A lover doesn't always have to be of romance. Yeah, your lover isn't lost. Yeah, so that can go for a passed on loved one or someone that, you know, you're not as close to as, you know, y'all was before. The person could still be living. They don't have to be. They could be passed on, transition over. But again, a lover does not have to be a romance. A lover could be a sibling, um, a close friend, you know, things like that. Your grand, a grandparent, a parent. Okay, so what's going on with Capricorn? Give me messages for Capricorn. For mid for no. For August. Okay. What is there? 
this is this yeah this is the magician the magician came out in reverse first card out came out in reverse capricorn you could be dealing with a virgo or gemini or you could have that in your chart but um <clears throat> the magician in reverse could be like somebody could be feeling insecure about their capabilities to manifest so the magician in reverse could be um insecurity um an uh, inability to manifest or the magician in reverse can be like heavy heavy manipulation or some dark magic yeah cliff what's going on with the magician in reverse what's going on with the magician in reverse okay we got the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles so um capricorn this is either you or somebody else Someone could have been committed to this energy, like self-pity. The Magician in Reverse could be self-pity. Or uh, Capricorn, you could have been committed to someone who was like this. Very self-pity, very um, self-confident. I mean, not self-confident. This is you, Capricorn, or somebody you could have been involved with. Very insecure. Somebody was committed to like a Magician in Reverse energy or somebody that was like that. So that magician in reverse again could be someone who's insecure about their capabilities or someone who is like very, very like overly manip manipulative, deep into the uh, occult, dark magic, spell work, things like that. What's going on with the Knight of Pentacles? What's going on with this Knight of Pentacles? Or this Knight of Pentacles could be letting me know. The magician in reverse energy is going to become stagnant. It's going to become stagnant in um in August. So Capricorn, whether this was some was you or somebody doing this to you, that negativity could become stagnant. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles because the Knight of Pentacles could be like an angel, angelic presence. Like this angel is protecting you from that magician in reverse energy. Whether you was doing this to yourself, Capricorn, or somebody else was doing this to you. Yeah. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. What's going on with the Ace of Pentacles? Or Capricorn, you could be protecting someone else from some um from that magician in reverse energy. Cause it's like the magician go in reverse. Then it's like we got the Knight of Pentacles that could be protection. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Yeah. So Capricorn, somebody's protecting you from this. This could be the most high, a person. Or you're protecting someone from that Magician and Reverse Energy. So you can get the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So, yeah. And it could very well be a child. Like this could be you Capricorn encouraging a child. Like. You know, get out, get out of bed, get up, you know, things like you could be encouraging a child because in this car is two kids right there. So, um, especially Capricorns as a parent, you know, self-pity and woe is me. Capricorns is not too much into like self-pity. And it's like when we do get into that energy, we don't stay in it for too long. So this could be you Capricorn protecting your child from that magician in reverse. So it could be a child feeling some type of way and you talk to your child to encourage them. Like, no, you can do it. You're not the magician in reverse. You're capable. You can do this. You can do that. You know, things like that, Capricorn. I'm picking up Capricorn. You're either encouraging someone else to get up out of that magician in reverse energy. Or Capricorn, the most high, the universe is protecting you from that. Um, magician and reverse energy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like the negativity get put on hold. The negativity gets halted. It gets blocked. So somebody can receive an ace of pentacles and an ace of wands. So this is some type of passionate new beginning. An offer. I don't know Capricorn. You might get pregnant. Um. August, the, you know, the first half of August, that Ace of Pentacles is, um, can be like the birth of a child. Like literally you giving birth, the birth of a child, like the baby is here. So I don't know, Capricorn, if you're a female, you could be pregnant and you could be nervous. Like you, that magician in reverse, this could be your first child. 
And you could be nervous um, thinking of the worst possible scenario during your labor. Yeah. It don't have to be your first child, but you could be like just negative about going into labor. You could be scared, frightened. You could be that magician in reverse Capricorn. Yeah. Because you probably like nervous about giving birth. You probably scared about how bad it's going to hurt. Things like that. Or you, yeah, it might could be a pregnancy. You might get pregnant. You might get pregnant in um August as well. Yeah. And it's like the Knight of Pentacles could be letting me know, Capricorn, you will get pregnant in August. But it's going to take time. The Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady progress for that baby to be born. Yeah. Yeah, because the Ace of Wands is like the male, the male part. So this is like you have intercourse or Capricorn, you could be a man. And it's letting you know you might get a woman pregnant. In August, it's going to take time for it to manifest. But somebody being negative, Capricorn, you or somebody else, or somebody could, um, yeah, somebody probably thought they couldn't have children. The Magician in Reverse, this is like somebody like, woe is me, I can't have kids, this is and that, I don't think I can have kids. I'm in my 40s and, and I never got nobody pregnant, or I never was pregnant. Yeah, but let me see, let me put some tea on this. What's the tea with the Magician in Reverse? Oh, yeah, same shit, different day, yeah. Same shit, different day. That magician in reverse is definitely like some negativity. Yeah. Looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info. Yeah. So Capricorn, this magician in reverse could be a Gemini or a Virgo. Don't have to be. This magician in reverse could have been an enemy of yours, Capricorn. Because they say this person was researching you, studying you, getting getting um info on you. So this is like an insecure lover. Somebody that probably admire you, that was scared to come towards you. Or this is like an enemy and a foe. And it's like every day, they were like low-key stalking you. Yeah. But I think you're going to get protected. You're going to be protected, Capricorn. If this is like an enemy or foe, you're going to be protected from that magician in reverse. Yeah. Because this person could have been doing spell work on you or attempting to do heavy witchcraft on you. Dark, dark black magic. Yeah. And it's like that Knight of Pentacles could be angelic protection. I don't know if this person could have been trying to come up between, come, come in between you and your children. Maybe even your family, Capricorn. Capricorn, if you're a female, you could have children. And it's like this Ace of Wands could be your, your man. And the Magician in Reverse wanted to cause, cause harm or wreak havoc. With your family and probably your child's father or husband. That Ace of Wands, it could be just be like your child's father. Because it's like, it's just a wand. So that could be like, you not with your child's father, but you probably co-parent with this with your child's father. And y'all, you know, yeah. Something like that going on. So what's the tea with this Knight of Pentacles? But whatever, whoever this magician in reverse is, Capricorn, I think it's a person... Because it's like they're researching you, studying you, getting info on you. And it say same shit, different day. So this is either an insecure lover that wants you, this person admire you. And it's like they low-key stalk you. Or this is somebody stalking you to do you harm. Yeah. What's the tea with the Knight of Pentacles? What's the tea with the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, creativity muncher steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off you. Yeah. So Capricorn, this um, magician in reverse could also be an earth sign like you. Possibly a Virgo don't have to be. Um. This person was trying to steal your ideas, copies you, dupl duplicates and feeds off you. This person was a creativity muncher. And they could be trying to cause you stagnation. Or, or it could just be letting me know this person is committed to doing this to you. To causing you this harm. Yeah, they're committed to it. What's the T with the Ace of... Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So Capricorn, this was... Yeah. This person is in reverse. This person don't mean you no good. It could be a Virgo or a Gemini. Definitely a Virgo. And then we come down here to the Ace of Pentacles. That's more Earth energy. 
So Capricorn, it could definitely be another earth sign that's coming up against you. But this person is a wolf in sheep's clothing. This person might make you an offer. Or you could have kids by this person. This person is a wolf in sheep's clothing. This person, I think this person lost their chance with you. Or they want you to miss out on something. But that's getting played out. That's getting played out. This person coming up against you. It's getting played out. And I think this Knight of Pentacles can also represent Capricorn. You're going to be protected from this energy. Because it's like them being a wolf in sheep's clothing. And trying to cause you to lose something or take a loss. It's getting played out. It's getting played out. What this person trying to do to you. And it's some, it, I'm picking up it's not working. And this could be spell work, illusion, manipulation, deep manipulation. Yeah, somebody trying to play you. Yeah. So, yeah, this could, Capricorn, if you're a female, be careful. Because this could be a masculine trying to get you pregnant. But it's like this person don't mean you no good. This man don't mean you no good. What's the tea with the Ace of Wands? What's the tea with the Ace of Wands? What's the T? Yeah, grudge holder, uninterested. Yeah. This person could be holding a grudge against you, Capricorn, because you, you're no longer interested in them. Or Capricorn, this person is holding a grudge against you. They're behaving as if they like you, but they're really not interested in you. Yeah. And this Ace of Wands could be them wanting to have sex with you or start a passionate new beginning with you. This could be this person telling you, oh, come on, you know, let's try again. Let's get back into a, rela a relationship. Let's, you know, let's co-parent. Um, let's go into business together. Or this is like sex. This, it could be a masculine. He want to have sex with you, Capricorn. And the, But this person holding a grudge against you. This wolf in sheep's clothing is a grudge holder. And Capricorn, again, either you're not interested in this person or deep down this person is not interested in you. And they're behaving as if they're your friend and they're not. Only thing that's on this person's mind is they want to steal your ideas. They want to copy your work. They're a creativity muncher. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This person is a wolf in sheep's clothing. But Capricorn, I think they're going to lose their chance with you. I don't think you're going to fall for it, Capricorn. Because there be, it's something getting played out. Them trying to play you, love bomb you, deceive you, because they're basically they bear they're basically trying to deceive you, Capricorn. They're trying to deceive you. Yeah. But their deception is getting played out. Yeah. What's this um person's issue with Capricorn? What is this person's issue with Capricorn? What is their issue with Capricorn? Hot and cold, all good, then all bad, in and out, yes, then no. Yeah. So, this person's issue with you, Capricorn, is that they feel as though you're hot and cold. But Capricorn is letting me know that this person, they're a deceiver. So, their issue with you is not you, it's them. So, whatever they say about you is them, because they're a deceiver. So, if they're complaining, oh, Capricorn, you get send me mixed messages, you hot, then you cold. No, it's not you, Capricorn, it's them. This person is working heavy manipulation. Heavy manipulation. Heavy. Yeah, they're yeah, they're heavy on the manipulation. Yep. They trying to lay it on thick. Yeah. Yep. So Capricorn, that's what's going on. So Capricorn, just be um mindful and careful. The first half of August. Yeah, this person ain't shit. Yeah. But Capricorn, it say ain't shit ignoring enforcer. So it's like this person ain't shit, Capricorn. And I think this person is ignoring the fact, Capricorn, that if you have to, you'll, you'll, you'll become a forcer. Because this person is like trying to play you like a fool. Or Capricorn, this is letting me know you're ignoring your intuition and that this person is a forcer. This person could be passive aggressive. Or it's telling me, Capricorn, that this person ain't shit and they're ignoring the fact that you can be just like them. Like, if you have to, Capricorn, you'll get on a level. And, um, yeah. And you can become this forcer, too. That's what that can be telling me. But let me see. What is the likely outcome for this, um, 
person in Capricorn's energy and that magician in reverse energy. What is the likely outcome for them? Yeah. Okay, they're like it's say dodging bullets, moves in silence, and drama starter. So what I'm picking up from this Capricorn, this person that's coming up against you, they're aware that you're protected, like you dodging bullets. So it's like if they can't get you one way, they're gonna find find another way. So it's like they're gonna move in silence because they're a drama starter. Yeah, they couldn't get you one way, so they're gonna figure out another way. Cause it's like you're dodging bullets. Yeah, so they just gonna start moving in silence. And they still gonna try to cause some type of drama in your life, Capricorn. Yeah. Um, what's Capricorn's likely outcome? It's a cock blocking head in the clouds. Yeah. Capricorn, if this is a masculine, it could be an ex lover, an ex husband, your child's father. Your likely outcome, you're not gonna give this person none. And they head's gonna be in the clouds. Yeah, they're going to be thinking about you. Capricorn, it's like this person. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get this person none. They probably want to have sex with you, that ace of wands. Yeah. And you can have kids by this person. Don't have to be. But you're going to cock block. You ain't going to get this person none. If you a female watching this. Yeah. Yeah, and this person going to be thinking about you. They're going to be thinking about you. Yeah, because you're not going to get them none. You're going to turn down their offer. Because this person trying to make you an offer, Capricorn. But you're going to turn it down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this person is a wolf in sheep's clothing. This offer they're trying to give you. They're trying to give you their wine. But you're going to block them. You're going to cock block them. You're going to block them. You ain't going to give them enough. Yeah. And they're going to be thinking about you. They had going to be in the clouds like that. Yeah. Yep. So, Capricorn, that's what I have for you. Capricorn, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you. Some parts might resonate, other parts might not. As well, Capricorn, this energy can manifest the first half of August. Or it can manifest later on down the line in time. And as well, sometimes this, um, these, this, these readings, this energy could be something that happened in the past. And um, if it's something that happened in the past for you, Capricorn, you just got to figure out what spirit trying to tell you in the present. Yeah. So just remember, Capricorn, your angel number is 16. I am perceptive. And as well, your message is your lover isn't lost. Number 49. So Capricorn, it say your lover isn't lost. So this could be you, Capricorn. You could be a divine feminine. And you and your divine masculine is not together or you never met your divine masculine. And you could have a karmic around that could be trying to take advantage of you because you probably single Capricorn. And it's like, your lover isn't lost. Like, you know love. You know how to protect yourself. It's like, you know love. The card let me know that. Capricorn, you you know love. You have experienced love. So you're not easily to... It's not easy for people to deceive you. Because you know love. And you know how to love. So you're not easily de deceived. So this could be a masculine that's just trying to play you because you're single. Because you and, you and your um, person is probably not together right now. Yeah. So, Capricorn, just keep just keep that in mind. And, um, again, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Thank you, Capricorn.